Hey, it's Katrina Sawa here with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And I want to talk to you today about having faith in yourself as a business owner. Uh, I gave this talk, it was just a five minute talk the other day. And I thought, you know, I need to share it with more people because it's probably one of the biggest things that has catapulted me in my business and how I've been able to stay in business since 2002. Yeah, 22 years in business this year. And uh, it's it's due to the fact of just having complete and utter faith in myself, you know, that it'll all work out in the end and just trusting that I will, I'm smart enough, I'll figure it out, I'll learn the right things, I'll hire the right people to show me the way and I will, it'll all work itself out where that's, I've, I've lived by this motto for so many years. I didn't even know this was a motto of mine in the beginning. Um, and I actually wrote a chapter about how it'll all work out in the end. Uh, my very first chapter in my very first book back in 2006 was entitled that. I still didn't know it was my model, motto, but it has been. And uh, having faith that you will create your happiest life ever, whatever that looks like for you, is the key to sustainability, to consistent revenue, to building the life and business of your dreams. Uh, doubts are going to creep in, of course, every once in a while I still have doubts, but doubts are toxic, right, to your entrepreneurial energy. Having faith that you are enough, that you deserve it, you deserve more, you can have it all, an amazing, I always say an amazing love-filled life, right? We want love in our lives, hopefully you do, uh, plus an extremely profitable business too, doing what we love, of course, not doing something we don't love. Um, I believe that you'll have more faith when you want more for yourself, your family, and your future. Yeah, <laughs> you want more. That is the key. A lot of entrepreneurs I see don't want enough. They're content or they're like, ah, oh, it's good enough or I'm okay right now. But then I go deeper with them and I ask them lots of questions and they have all these dreams and desires that they won't be able to do because they're not making enough money. And it's because they haven't decided they deserve it and can have it and now want it. Therefore, they will go and be motivated to create it. If you don't want it, and you don't decide that you deserve it, you're not gonna be motivated to create it. That's just, it's not gonna work, right? Now, um, but I want you to want more in your personal life too, as well as your business, because we don't wanna be having a crappy, you know, crappy marriage or a crappy relationship or no, no relationship and you want love uh, and a successful business. We don't want a crappy business and a love relationship, a great love relationship, we need both. We need both, I think. And of course, we need good health too. But a lot of that we can't control. Some we can, right? I'm working on my health right now. Um, but I'll tell you, the day I decided to leave my first marriage was the day that I decided I deserved more. More love and affection. Someone who totally put me at the top of their list and who respected me and supported me 100%, even in my business. And I was I was growing... Uh, through that roller coaster of cash flow that first few years, um, I didn't have that with my first marriage. And he, you know, he was just really scared, I think, of mon the money, uh, not having money, right? And so I was just like, well, it'll all work out in the end. And, uh, you know, it's going to come around. And I just trusted that it would and it did, right? But my marriage didn't make it through that those first few years. Um, but I had to decide that I deserved more, not only someone who supported me, but um, who we really connected and loved each other no matter what, right? And then in business from 2005 to 2022, uh, pretty much, I have invested in mentors and mastermind programs to the tune of over $250,000. I actually probably stopped counting at 250. It's probably more, <laughs> but uh, I knew I was meant to be doing what I'm doing. I knew I was smart. I would, it would all work out for me, but I did need to learn what to do uh, and what I needed, how to do it, um, what not to do. I needed to learn from other people's lessons. And so, you know, back then, and I continued to be all in in my business. 
uh, to go after finding the way to get me where I wanted to go, where I am today and where I'm headed tomorrow. Cause it's not over yet. I'm not to the end result. I'm still on my journey, 22 years into this entrepreneurship, right? We're never done. Uh, so I had faith in myself hundred percent, even though I didn't know it all. And I still don't know it all. Okay. I know I do know a lot about a lot. Okay. And I, I can teach almost anybody, anything I can show you what to do, but I don't know it all. I mean, I don't know who does. Right. And I had faith in myself regardless. I didn't, I never had a plan B. I never had a plan B. I told my last boss to F off. Yeah, I did. Because he was such a two-faced guy and I told him that in front of his boss, which was awesome because he deserved that. He would just say one thing and do the other. And it was a great feeling to go and leave that job. And then I went home and I was like, oh, okay, I got to start my own business. And luckily uh, before that day, I had already consulted with a business coach like three months prior. Thankfully, this is why business coaching is so important because uh, I had a couple different ideas of what to do. And luckily she pointed me in the right direction, which at the time was marketing consulting, right? I was just doing marketing for clients and then it's grown into everything business and even publishing now. So, uh, but I didn't have a plan B. I just, well, I'm going to go figure this out. And luckily I'd already been networking in the local area for my job. And all I had to do was just tap into my network and uh, get new clients. So it wasn't that difficult. And I was really good with marketing and sales. I've been doing it since I was 16. If you're not good with marketing and sales, you want some help with that. You need to get help. You can't just figure out sales and marketing. It is it is a, a whole nother beast of, of a learning curve. So, but I, I, I struggled to let, to not let that doubt into occasionally. Um, but over time, I had got more confident and more clarity and <clears throat> more cash flow came in and more clients. Uh, the more confident I was, the more clients I had, right? And nowadays, I say the more fun I have, the more money I make, right? So the more I put self-care and fun and family in place, the more clients just come in. And I know that seems illogical. Um, and sometimes it does too to my, to my practical, tactical brain. But it's, again, it's trusting. It's trusting that it'll all work out in the end. So what is unwavering faith in your business? It's that feeling in your gut or your heart that allows you to take baby steps, even when you're not sure of where you're going, or big leaps of faith when you're scared but willing to try something new. Where does that feeling come from? And why is it present in some people more than others? Hmm. What is it that gives us that courage and confidence to just take those next steps when we aren't even sure what could happen next? That is the goal for you to trust in yourself more so that you can take those leaps faster and more often. You want to muster up the strength to take a big leap of faith to go after what you want. You want to leave something, be able to leave something that isn't serving you anymore, or just make a big decision to go in another direction. Um, give yourself that permission to take those leaps. Learn how to have the courage to set bigger goals and dreams because you will believe that it'll all work out in the end, no matter what, and that you do deserve it. And please decide to stop settling in your professional and your personal life and live your life on purpose now. Let's help you design the business around the kind of life you want to live, not fit your life in around your business. That's no fun, right? Now, I came up with an acronym for FAITH in your business. And FAITH to me means... The F is for fun and bold, authentic brand. Fun and bold, authentic brand. Be yourself. Be vulnerable. Be you. I don't care what that is. Please don't hide stuff because we can see it. If you're hiding behind some kind of fear or imposter syndrome, we see it. A lot of people will see that, okay? Just be bold and fun and be yourself because there's billions of people on this planet and all we need is this many. So there's plenty of people that will like 
whatever quirks or things that you have that you think you need to hide. Stop it. Okay. So faith F is for fun and bold, authentic brand. The A is for assertive and energetic spirit. Assertive and energetic spirit. You need to have good energy. You need to have good energy. So people like, ooh, they lean in. They're like, oh, I like this person's energy. Even if it's not like over the top or exciting. You know, I'm very outgoing and loud sometimes. And people like that. Some people don't. Some people are just a little intimidated, right? And that's okay because the right people will come. But assertive spirit. So how do you, assertive means you're not just waiting passively for someone to tap you on the shoulder and go, okay, Katrina, I'm ready. No, you're, you're a little bit more assertive with the conversations, with initiating conversations, with reaching out to people, with sharing what you do, with asking them to take another step or a step with you, right? Assertive and energetic spirit is A. Then I is intuitive approach. Intuitive approach is just knowing. It's tapping in. It's listening. It's paying attention and being observant to everything around you, to not only the person you're talking to, but their body language, uh, just their mannerisms. So you can be more intuitive. It's tapping in. It's listening. It's asking more questions and being curious. Intuitive approach. Then the T stands for trust and love yourself. I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> uh, I wrote a whole book about it. Love yourself successful, right? I had to learn all these lessons too, right? I had to be aware of the things that were going on so that I could make steps to improve and enhance my own beliefs and abilities and my confidence. So trust and love yourself, everything about yourself. You know, I was 60 pounds heavier a, few, a couple of years ago. And a few years ago, I was miserable. I felt ick. I felt icky, right? And I had to do something about it, right? And I did do something about it. Um, but now I feel 10 times better about myself. Please, if you feel crappy, even if it's just, if it's about your body, that's most women, right? We have something going on in our body that we don't like. Well, you can work on it. I was so busy working in the business and on the business that I didn't work on myself and I let it go. I let myself go. So just make a decision not to do that. Trust and love yourself fully. All right. Then finally, H in faith is have your happiest lifestyle ever action plan. So create an action plan about what you really want your life to look like. If you had a magic wand, what would you, how would you design your life? If you could do it starting tomorrow, what would that look like? What would your life look like? Wave a magic wand and I want to know what your happiest lifestyle ever action plan is. So ah, there's a lot more I could share about this, but I just wanted to come to you today and talk to you about having more faith in yourself. Trust me, this makes a huge difference in making money, getting clients. Okay. And if you want to reach out, you know, first of all, you could buy the book, Love Yourself Successful. It's loveyourselfsuccessful.com is where you can find it. <laughs> you can find it on Amazon too. But if you buy it from me, I'll like I'll sign it and send it off to you myself. So it's a little bit more personnel. Um, and you can come talk to me. I'm very uh, candid, but I also keep things confidential. I just want you to create that happiest life ever with an amazing business and love relationship, you know? So uh, thanks for listening. And I hope you have a wonderful day and you can find me online at jumpstartyourbiznow.com, jumpstartpublishing.net, where I can help you write a book if you want to tell your story. And uh, yeah, here's to having faith and knowing that it'll all work out in the end.